Okay, here we are with um, lesson number 11. This is called the while loop. Uh, this seems a little bit curly. It's similar to the for loop, but it will do something only while something else is true. So, I'll show you how this works. So, in our first line of code, we're going to enter a number. And we're telling the user we're going to double it while it is smaller than 100. So, then we're going to collect that number here. So, we're collecting a variable and we're going to call that variable number. And this stuff should look familiar to you. Now, this is where it starts to get interesting. This loop says while. So, we set a condition for while. So, while number is less than 100, do the code in between. Once that stops being true, it will stop doing that code. So what it's going to do is it's going to write the number, which is what the person gave us, and then it's going to do a little bit of maths on it. So it's going to calculate the variable and say the number equals the number times 3. So let's watch this run. Enter the number to double while it is smaller than 100. So I'm going to do 3. So... It started 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. You'll notice it didn't go to the next double because it was only doing it while it was less than 100. So it is your time to code. You are going to change this program such that it triples the number until while it is smaller than 200. So it's not going to double it. It's going to triple it. And it's not going to do it while it's under 100. It's going to do it while it's under 200. So you're going to make changes to this program here. And you're going to make that. And I'll make a part B if you need it.